died from lack of health care in 2001. Double Are you ready? That? You ready? Yeah. Hold on to your seat. We lost 3,000, about 3,600 America, Pittsburgh and America. In 2001, there was a tragedy, and believe me, it still hurts me. But in that very same year, directly because of the insurance companies not covering people and not covering people that already paid their premiums or dropping people or just plain nobody have, I mean, people not having insurance, 45,000 people died from lack of health care insurance in 2001. 45,000. How much is that? That would fill up the Mellon Arena about three times. But that's, I know that's pretty startling. That's a pretty big number. But if we calculate from the year 2000 to this year, directly related to lack of health care or not being covered or being dropped, the number goes a lot higher. So hold on, because here it comes. If we look at and calculate the amount of deaths from 2000 to 210 by the end of this year, 445,000 Americans will be dead from 2000 to 210. 445,000. That's too many. Directly related to this government not having a universal health care plan, to allowing the insurance companies getting away with, I'm going to call it what it is. It's legal murder. In other words, it's not officially murder, but it's certainly malicious. It's certainly neglectful, and it's about money. Well, excuse me, you want to call me a liberal? Call me a socialist. But I don't like that 445,000 people died because of the insurance companies. And pharmaceuticals, you don't get a, you don't get a pass. That's You're a problem, too. So you know what? If you don't care about this nation, and I'm telling every Pittsburgher, if you're going to get mad at me, go for it. But if you care about this nation, you have to. Call 1-202-225-3121. You have to call. You have to. Because 45,000 people, 445,000 people will die by the end of this year altogether. Including now, let me be clear. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. 45,000 people die every year because of no health care. Including babies and children. Well, I'm not, I didn't even get to that part yet. Don't forget the caller. But I'm going to get to the caller in a minute, but i gotta, I got to hook this one up. So, America, you want to know why I'm in your face telling you to call? Because of 445,000 people. That's why. Now, Annette mentioned babies. I'm going to get to the call. Our Chris? called Save Lives Now, and that's what we're trying to do. Okay, can you give me a minute here, please? Yes. All right. We talked about infant mortality, right, Chris? That's right. Now, this is the United States of America, land of the free, home of the brave, but apparently home of the government not giving a rat's claw. Now, our infant mortality rate is very high. That's what the song said, right? Yep. Do you want to know how high? I'll tell you how high. We are number 33 on the planet Earth. That's how bad we are. For every 1,000 births, we have at least 6.3 deaths. Now that information came directly from the United Nations Population Division. And also, that was on one list that were 33. Well, 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 let me see. According to the Central Intelligence Agency, yeah, the CIA, that's right, CIA, uh, most credible, one of the most credible intelligence and information sources, that's right. The CIA, according to the CIA, we're number 46. And the way they calculate, 6.2 deaths per every 1,000 babies born. Either way, we're either 46 out of the world or we are 33. So when we sing our infant mortality rate is high, bingo. Now, in comparison, that's a disgrace. In comparison 
Iceland, on the United Nations population division list, Iceland is number one. Out of every 1,000 babies, only 2.9 die. Now, on the CIA, Singapore is number one. And they are 2.3 deaths. But no matter how you slice it, 2.3 deaths, or 2.9, but in America, supposed to be the best country on earth, we have at least four more babies dying. Our infant mortality rate is disgusting, but I want to let you in on a little secret. Every single European country, every single European country is ahead of us and doing better on infant mortality rate. And by the way, every single European country has a form of universal health care. That's right. So there's a direct correlation. And these are not figures I just threw out a hat. Came from the United Nations. Came from the CIA. This other one on the insurance came from Wendell Potter, who worked in the insurance company. And this one, about the 45,000 deaths, came from a little school called Harvard Medical School, the most credible, most prestigious medical school in the United States nation. So these papers are legitimate. The information, legitimate. The information you don't hear at all in the media because they're too afraid to tell you. This is all legitimate. So let's figure this out. Let's sum it up now. We have 445,000 people going to die from 2001 to 2000, I mean, 2000 to 2010 because no health care. We have between 33 and 46 on the infant mortality rate, which is terrible. And we have the insurance company, while all these people are dying, the insurance company are making higher profits than ever before, $817 billion a year. So when we add all this up, you know what I have to say to Congress? I say to you that if you do not get this health care bill passed, I'm saying it legally and peacefully, if you don't get it passed, I'm going to work to see that you don't get voted back in. And I'm going to work on getting independents in there, reform members in there. Um, let's see, green and libertarians, or other Republicans or other Democrats, but you're going to lose your job. And a personal message from Albert Tricasso to jo Joseph Lieberman. And by the way, also, um, what's his name? Um, Jason, Jason Altmaier. You don't want the public option. You can't vote for a public option, Joe Lieberman. You can't vote for a public option, Altmaier. Well, how about this? How about Pittsburghers in America don't vote for you? Get you the heck out of there. Because you are costing people their lives. I'm sorry. I'm going to be mean. I'm not mad at you for that. And I'm not telling you that I don't like you. But if you can't vote to save American lives, you don't deserve that job. You don't deserve to represent the state that you do, Joe Lieberman. And Altmaier, you're a Pennsylvanian. And I was in support of you being there. Look at what you're doing by not going for the public option. Start reading these, I, these, these papers. The insurance company had it too easy. The pharmaceuticals have it too easy. Now it's your turn. Oh, and I, I want to throw something. And I'm going to get to you, caller. So hang on. I promise I'm willing to New York second. Let me throw this to you, Jason Altmaier and Joe Lieberman. Not, repeat, not every universal health care system that is out there on the, in the globe, not every single one is run by the government. In fact, in doing my research, I found out that of these countries, some of them incorporate universal health care that has both private funding and government funding, private insurance companies, and government run. Can you sit up, please? Thank you. So America, don't believe the deception. And for my fellow congressmen, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a congressman. I made a mistake. For the congressmen and senators, yeah, I made a poop. For the congressmen and senators, maybe Mr. Lieberman and Mr. Altmaier, maybe you didn't know this, but we can have a public option that will, in fact, be both private and public.